Hi, this is Dave Webb from Venture Caravans and I'm going to show you around this Red Line Sport model. This particular model is in summer blue, which is a really distinctive and attractive colour. Um, it's been finished with some gloss detailing, so you've got uh, gloss black detailing on the bumper trims there and the grille in the front and on the mirror arms and handles. Um, which corresponds with the roof, which is a black roof. Um, as you can see, we've got it popped up at the moment. It's got the uh, cabin on red line roof tent um, with the stainless steel hinges at the back. They give you extra height and won't just chip away the paint and then rust. Um, you've also got the spoiler at the front here, um, which will deflect any wind noise away whilst traveling. We fitted it with a bungee cord as well to pull in the canvas as you pull it down but you do have to be careful not to trap it in the hinges at the back um, so just a, taking care when popping the roofs down but that's uh, typical with camper vans in general um, to show you the angle from the front here and then i'll take you around the side as well we've got the 18 inch wolf race alloy wheels on this particular model there's many other things that can be added to them such as sidebars front spoiler um, solar panels bike racks all sorts of things show you from this side um, you've got your mains input here and your water tank input here it's got a 60 litre under slung water tank has reversing sensors and the tailgate, the glazed tailgate at the back here. Open that up so you can get a view of the back. Finished in the gloss white cupboards with the silver edging. You've got the plinth at the back here that can come off because it's on Velcro to allow you more access through to the underbed storage, which is also accessible from the front. Um, the table stores in the back here has a really substantial leg and good locking mechanism to lock it into the, onto the bar that when it's in uh, the camper mode, if you like. So you can put it in the front, attach it to the kitchen area, and it's really solid. It doesn't bounce up and down like so many of them we've seen before. You've got the long cupboard here, gives you access all the way through to the kitchen area so that's really good for sort of things like wind breaks etc but whatever you want to store in there um, you have the electrics compartment and sort of wardrobe area here um, if you can see at the top there you've got a light um, so you can turn that on just by touching the metal edge and that turns on the light for this cupboard now showing you around the outside I'll show you around the inside uh, just worth noting as well you've got two opening windows one on either side a lot of camper vans only have one um, also just to mention on the outside here as well at the back you've got proper carpet fitted a lot of these we see them in this sort of shaggy sort of um, side wall carpet and they just change the color and put that on the bottom but this is proper carpet and then the side wall is a good quality um, they also use automotive quality fixings um, to attach the panels. This particular panel is left as a panel so that you've got access to the um, tow bar electrics. So if you wanted a tow bar added, um, you've got access to that without having to cut the paneling away. You've also got this strip across the bottom here, which is an additional strip. It doesn't come on the standard uh, transporter vans. Um, and that's just obviously to protect it as you put things in and out. Just a couple of the lovely red line features. Um, when you come inside, you'll see you've got a mat fitted in the doorway there. We also fit step mats here and into that step well at the front. Um, you've also got the actual carpeted cab area too. Just give you a sort of overview of the old camper before I step inside and start showing you some of the individual features. So as I mentioned from the back you've got the cupboards that you can open up and that allows you the space all the way through. 
Um, the rib bed is one of the main features of the uh, Redline Sport model. Um, it has the, you can move it backwards and forwards on the rail by about 20 centimeters, giving you more space at the back or the front, wherever you want it. Um, but the big advantage of the rib bed is, well, there's a couple really. If I just put this down a second, so I'm just gonna put the camera down while I pull this forward. You can see that move forward. You can then drop the backrest down. Now what I've done there is I've, you've still got it as a seat, um, but the back has been dropped down into its bed position, which gives you all this storage space behind. Um, so that when you open up the back, you've got basically a massive parcel shelf and then storage underneath. So you see there, you've obviously got hidden storage underneath and then your big parcel shelf at the back. So that's one advantage of the red line um, rib bed is that you can have that as a, it's sort of very flexible in terms of how you use it. Um, and the other advantage is because the rib bed is made of injection molded um, automotive quality foam and materials. When you fold it out, you're sleeping on the back of it. When you're using it as a seat, you're sleeping on the or sitting on the front of it. You've also got Isofix fittings for kids' seats, uh, much more substantial seat belt um, positioning and harnesses. Um, and as you can see, you've got this contour sort of very automotive style seat. So it's a longer lasting seat with headrests or head restraints that move up and down. So there's loads of uh, flexibility there. And probably makes this the, the best bed you can get for a camper van. I'm sure other brands would argue, but you know, it seems to be that most customers agree. Um, so here you've got two main sockets, uh, two USB sockets, light sockets, and your diesel heater control. I'm just going to turn the lighting on. So there's the cupboard here for the electrics. I'm just gonna turn that on for you. So you can see the lighting and how well that illuminates under the cupboards and then down onto the top of the work surface. You've also got the two little floor lights, um, just adding a bit of detail. And then, like I said about the one in the cupboard, you've got these lights that you just touch the metal edge and it turns them on and off. And you've got those all the way around the plinth of the camper van. Also in the corners, You've got these two up lights and they're all LED up lights and they just operate from a switch by the door so you can turn them on and off. Um, you've got the large um, sort of window at the front here which can be zipped up to have it completely closed off and then on either side you've got the mesh opening panels for great ventilation and um, so because obviously these areas get very warm in summer so it's great to be able to open those up and get all the fresh air in. And the same with this one on the side here. Extra little bits of detail, but you've got added handles to help you pull the roof down when you do that. Um, the bed itself just literally pulls down from grabbing the edge here. And then you've got the memory foam mattress, just a thin one, but it gives extra bit of comfort on this top bed area here, which is quite a nice size. Cupboards. Plenty of cupboards all the way through. But the nice thing about them is they're all lined sides and backs. So it's not like you're gonna put something in this cupboard and then find out that it's slid all the way to the front cupboard here. And it's all finished with the edge banded lockers. So all these edges are glued on. We're using a banding machine. Um, so it gives you a better finish and it will last longer. And it's not just a push in finish. So you've got a lovely curved worktop in that sort of wood effect. And then you've got a cutout here behind the driver's seat, which gives you a little bit more flexibility for raking the seat back when you're driving. Um, you've also got, like I said, these substantial um, places for the table to clip on, one above the grill there and one above the fridge. The fridge itself is a 12 volt fridge um, and it's not a cheap brand, it's the Dometic one. And it's got a removable freezer compartment. Then you've got the Dometic grill. 
a storage compartment on the left here and again you know it's not unsightly it's not like they haven't lined it they've properly finished it with a proper back and sides and then you have your gas compartment locker to the right of that the diesel heater outlet is just on the floor there um, so the diesel heater operates using that control panel at the top one click turns it on Let's see if I can do that now it's gone to green it's set to 21 degrees um, if I want to change the temperature up I just turn it up and then click and that's it and now the heating will be pumping out until it gets to 25 degrees now you've got the um, swivel front seat here and that opens up so plenty of storage underneath which is quite handy Let's show you the cab itself with the stereo which is a radio and CD player um, and then phone connectivity you've got heated wing mirrors electronic uh, electric heated mirrors and obviously windows for the front electric windows so i think that pretty much covers everything and gives you a really good overview of the camper i hope that's been useful um, but if you have any follow-up questions please feel free to give me a call um, and thank you for watching the video